Hello guys! Good morning! As you can see, I am barefaced and just got out of bed. Today, I'll be sharing with you my quick morning beauty routine. I mainly do this look whenever I need to quickly make myself presentable, so the whole process won't cost me more or less 10 to 15 minutes. After doing my morning rituals in the bathroom, I start my morning skincare. So this is just three steps to prep my skin for the minimal makeup that I'll be putting on today. So starting off with a toner or a deep cleanser, I'm using Eskinol. And then now I'll be using a serum. So this is from Cloud9. So just lather that on my face. This is Jeju Aloe Eye Soothing Gel. So instead of using the big container, I just repackage it to a smaller container so it's easier. So I use this as my moisturizer. So just lather that on your skin. And then if you have any excess, you put it on your neck as well. And then to make sure everything's absorbed, you gently tap your skin. Time for makeup. So I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. So I only put it in areas that have very visible pores. So T-zone and then cheek area. You can choose to use your favorite primer. It's just that because of the ECQ and the pandemic, I only have the Maybelline Baby Skin with me. Press that primer in and then we're going to go for the concealer. So I'm using Age Rewind from Maybelline. So I'll be putting it on my dark circles and also on the parts where I have redness under the nose and also I'll use it as a bit of a highlight in my T-zone and my chin. So blending it with my Innisfree sponge which is very soft by the way. So the sponge is actually the softer kind so it actually has a firmer kind which builds more coverage. But I actually like my makeup to be more dewy. So I'll add a bit more for my very evident dark circles. So for the powder foundation, I'll be pressing it on the areas where I put my concealer. So that way it will be set and, it will, and the concealer will stay in place. So I'll be doing that on all the places where I put my concealer. And then I'm gonna be brushing up the excess with a clean brush. So now, I'll be moving on to blush. I'm actually using um, the Dream Cream Multi-Pot of a local brand called Peach Drop. So this shade is called Sweet Rose. So I'll be applying it with my fingers first, as you can see. And then I'll be blending it with a brush. It's very blendable and has really good pigment. And don't worry if I will be putting on a bit too much. Because I'll be doing something on the next step. To achieve that blush from within kind of look, I set my cream blush with a powder foundation up top. That way it would look more natural. For the brows, I'll be using a brow gel from Sunny's Face. So I actually have a very thick eyebrow, so now I'm just Taming them with a spoolie. Now, what I'm doing is I am actually putting the product on the spores areas only. So, 
for my left eyebrow that would be the outer corner and then the lower inner corner brush that in and then I'll be blending it with a clean spoolie again then I'll be doing the same on the right side So for this routine, I'm only going to be curling my lashes and won't be applying any mascara. Last and final step, the lips. So I'll be applying first a lip balm. This one is from Innisfree. And then on top of that, I'll be applying Peri Peras Peri Ink The Velvet in shade Orange Brown. Then lastly, tapping the sponge on the outer areas of my lips to have that blurred look. And that's it! We're done! Oh, and I forgot to mention all of the items except for the serum are actually below 500 pesos, so very budget-friendly. I hope you liked and learned something from this very short video. For more contents like this in the future, Kindly like my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you!